A bill regulating New Jersey's 9,000 pigs has brought outrage from across the country. Cher tweeted that Governor Chris Christie is a despicable bully for vetoing the legislation which would have banned the use of gestation crates for pregnant sows. The crates severely limit the movement of the mother pig and are seen as inhumane by animal rights groups. John Stewart mocked the governor on the air for being out of touch with the will of New Jerseyans. The bill's sponsor, Senator Ray Lesniak, promised a veto override, saying, we will not give up. But the governor of Iowa, which is home to 20 million pigs, praised Christie, saying, This is an issue that most people in New Jersey have no clue. And the New Jersey governor himself said the legislation is a, quote, solution in search of a problem, since there don't appear to be any farmers in New Jersey who actually use the crates. So we have heard from celebrities, local politicians, the governor of a state a thousand miles away. But what do the handful of New Jersey's own pig farmers think of the controversy? Just another one of them stupid laws that they pass that really don't mean nothing. In my opinion. A total waste of money. Demarest is the typical New Jersey pig farmer, keeping half a dozen sows in a 200-year-old barn. You know, they want to raise this thing about the feral and grace, but there's not... I don't know of any being used. They're used more, like I said, on fa in your factory farms. Or they're running maybe two, three hundred sows. Everybody I deal with is, if they got two breeders, that's a lot. Nearby, Phil Brodicker buys young pigs and raises them to maturity. He too questions the point of the legislation. They don't have a clue what the reality yeah. of situations are. But they'll go to a restaurant and eat that fine steak and want their meats inexpensive and their produce inexpensive and they want their food sources cheap. But if they don't know how to manage it, they shouldn't be the ones telling a farmer how to manage it. Because honestly, what it comes right down to is it's the farmer's best interest to keep those animals comfortable and healthy.